problem. Can you go to the toilet for me? <laughs> Do you know that feeling when your bladder is just about to explode, yeah. but you just can't be bothered okay. to get up? I know, I know the feeling well. I don't know what you bought me fake eyelashes for. <laughs> they were on offer in. You don't, <laughs> you don't even wear fake eyelashes. Well, I, I did. Do you know when I used to like build glamorous and go out and stuff, but now You've I sleep never. in a van. Look, I've got my van life socks and my van life crocs. And I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Van life. Thank you, thank you for my bacon butters. That's hot. Yeah, to van life. Just waiting for Helen to get ready. It's a cold morning. I just want to show you where we stayed. How cold is it, Helen? It's freezing. It's freezing. We've parked it, to, so we've got here, and we've parked, and we've parked yeah. at. Do you know what I've seen, Helen? M and S food hall. No, down there. Boys. <laughs> and guess them? what I've seen? What? A charity shop. We always know it's going to be a good day when we <laughs> see a boys. You've got it. Oh, That's that. nice. Do you like yeah, it? Yeah, right, it's isn't it? it? Yeah. I do. Does yeah. it suit me? Because I can't ask you. him. It does suit you. <laughs> should she get it? <laughs> should, should I buy it? Looks good. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> a bit quirky. Yeah, no. I need a hat because it's cold out there. It's cold. Yeah, I think cold. you should get that. Yeah. I need to see. Thank you. Your, uh, your fashion advice. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, Oh, I don't know. You don't know? You're not sure? I like it. Do you? So it's either the unicorn earmuffs oh, or the flat cap. Oh my god, look. What? Tights for ballet dancers. Yeah. Who would have thought? You see, this shop has everything you never thought you needed. <laughs> I didn't even think I needed them. Tights <laughs> for dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could get some of those and like one of those floaty things. You know, like. Leotard, and you could do like a Kate Bush impression. Yeah, you? I love Kate Bush. <laughs> I'd be good at it. I know all the dance moves. <laughs> you used to do it in your bedroom, didn't you? How do you know that? Has my mum told you? I can tell. People don't believe me when I say she's special. She's actually tidying up the cotton bobbins in bo yeah, boys. Yeah, it just—it's messing with my. My thing. It's not your job, is it? Oops. Oh, that's better. You're so <laughs> special. <laughs> oh, person. You're going to tidy them up as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pears soap, it reminds me Come on now. Little. Look, I love boys more than anybody, but I'm fed up now. Yeah, I love it. I think you look you gorgeous like in that. Yeah, oh, you look thanks. really good. Yeah. I needed a hat. If you look in the distance at the top of the hill, it's like a castle. I wonder what that is. I've done no research on Matlock because we didn't know we were coming until last night, so I know nothing about it. But, oh, but. There's hats over there. There's more hats. I bought them now. There's a little park there. We can come back and go in the park. Yes. Yeah, there's a chipping. Oh, charity chip. Go on then. Lighthouse, I, you, I didn't think they had lighthouses in land. It is a Saturday morning, but it's a very busy town, isn't it? I've not seen an empty shop yet. Yeah. It's very hustly bustly. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. What's down here? Is it out down here? Yeah. It's a kids' play area, but we can walk around and then walk back okay. I think there's some boats. I think Matlock's just an average town, isn't it? Not an average town, it's a, just a but normal it, town. I think at Christmas it, it gets all lit up. 
It must be my lot of bath, but it's the nice bit. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not nice, but I, do you know what I mean? It's. Yeah. Uh, I think it is Matlock yeah. Bath. Yeah. I yeah. remember me nana. She took me on a coach on a trip at night to see the lights. It, it was either Matlock or Matlock Bath. Oh, we love birdseed. And they sell seedless the, grapes. And they just happened to sell you the birdseed. Now, apparently, your resident duck expert, Helen, <laughs> on Duck TV, has told us she thinks it's mating season because she says, if you see, each female's got, like, oh, blokes are following her. Yeah, look, that one over there. I think that's why they're all happy and frisky today, because it's mating season. That's no. like harassment, isn't it? <laughs> and she's going, like, get back. Get back. Just get back. But this one, she's popular. They're both trying uh, <laughs> their best lines on her. <laughs> oh, and he's coming in, newcomer. He's letting all other two do work and then he thinks he's just going to slide in. See, if I was going for one, I'd go for that one, Steve, there. Why? Why do you like Steve? Because he one? looks a bit fatter than the others. So you'd go for a fatter one, you think? Yeah. Steve the duck. He just looks a bit bigger. He's playing it cool, Steve. He's out pretending not to look at him. <laughs> well, I'm forgetting they've got eyes inside of it, don't they? Yeah, treat him and keep him keen. Yeah, look, he's going back to it. Oh, it's look, like, he's, he's yeah. having a quick look. Oh, look, she, I think she likes it. There is some caution doing it. Steve's not having any of it. Look, you're letting her get away, Steve. That was sort of more like my, my coaching routine back in the day. Yeah, just, just hang back. Let all young whippersnappers come in and then just swoop in at last minute. Helen says in the summer you can get on a, a boat and have a, a row around, can't you? I've always wanted you to row me in a rowing boat. Have you? Yeah. Do you know wearing like a long white summer dress? I don't think it would suit me, Helen, to be honest. <laughs> Look at this, flood height, right, and then that one, that's higher than me. But I'm surprised that... All oh, this would have been... That the river's not flooded since. I think you're right, Helen, what you just said then, uh, on a sort of lovely summer's day. Yeah. If you're lovely here, you could just come and sit in the park, yeah. and the park's right in the centre, so you've got all the shops, just nip across to off licence, come and sit on... <laughs> <laughs> You've and got then you chipping, can sit in the park chipping off license. And the Greggs. You could get some white lightning. Or frosty <laughs> our, our personal favourite frosty jack. And just sit there on grass. Watch the tennis. Come on the and sat there and eaten their Greggs and they've just dropped their Greg packets just there. Yeah. She's tidying up bless her. She's doing a bit for Matlock community. I'd have done that, but I've got to hold the camera. That's my kind of shop, isn't it, home? Yeah. Fat boys. What, you, what do you mean, yeah? You should say no. When we get our forever home, that's the sort of thing I want in the living room, above the fire. Yeah, but I'm saying, who the hell is I love she? quirky portraits like that. Do you know what I like? I like, do you know, like, sinister, scary ones? Yeah, well, that is a bit. These are here are your Victorian lusters. Quite collectible in black as well. Do you know who that is? That's Saint uh, Teresa. Is it? Yeah. But you're good, aren't you? I am, because I went to Saint Teresa's school. All oh, right. Right, well we're back here, so I think we'll just get, get to the van and head towards uh, Matlock Bath, shall we? Yeah. And uh, maybe have a look at that Heights of Abraham. Yeah, it's a busy little town, isn't it? it is. Hello. Hello. We've come to Matlock Bath now and we've uh, got parked in the car park. So it's interesting, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yes. And while I've got you there, could I just take this opportunity to remind you, could you please subscribe to the channel? It really supports me. It's completely and free. It's, free. it's completely free. It doesn't cost anything. It just pushes me channel out to more people and it helps me build it and it means we can do more videos and come to more places so yeah 
hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well, thanking you. Anyway, here we are at Matlock Bath, which people have said it's like the seaside, except without it's the no sea. It's seaside. <laughs> Coffee house looks quite nice, the Fig Coffee House. Fabric design. Although the building's a little bit worse for wear, isn't it? Shall we cross over, darling? We just bumped into a couple of subscribers, didn't we? So a big massive shout out. Anne and Dale! Anne and Dale. Hi. Lo lovely to meet you both in Matlock there. It very much is quite like the seaside, isn't it? With all the little gift shops and everything. There's a lot of fish and chip places. We've seen three already. Look at that t-shirt. What, the one with the wolves? It's got wolves on it. You love it, don't you? Sorry. Yeah. Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to the Ladenburg Shopping Village. Oh. Independent shops. Very good, let's go and have a look. It's all like stalls and stuff, isn't it? Where are you going then? Oh, are you going in every shop? Are those like the original actual? Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I know. I don't know how it's kept. Yeah, it just looks brand new, doesn't it? I know. It? Oh dear. Yeah. Um, things come off the shelves. Do they? Yeah. Or is that just all them daft cars going past? Well, I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> Do you know, revving the um, exhaust? Get yeah, a few shudders here. Oh. There, but I don't know. Do you want to go and grab us? I'd have to go in there for an hour if my daughter were here now. Cost a fortune. You know what grab is? It's cheaper to just buy them, isn't it? It is. I'm just filming the monkey puzzle tree for my mum. Oh look. She loves it's them. It's got like monkey puzzle pine cone things. Oh wow. Well. That's so I didn't know they had those. Well. You learn something Can every you see day. One on the ground and I'll collect it and I'll try and plant one. Helen's found a, a cone from a monkey puzzle tree which she says she's going to plant. Let's see if yeah. can grow anything. I'm going to try and germinate it. I'm going to plant it in a plant pot. Look, I've got my little bag in me. Did you bring that bag just in case you found a monkey puzzle pine cone? Yeah. Well, it's not a pine cone, is it? Well, it's, it's sort monkey of. Puzzle yeah, cone. It in there. No, I always have a little bag just in case for emergency purposes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch this here. Original Victorian thermal baths. Oh. See all this and more for just five pounds a year. Fish and chip shops everywhere. There's actually three in a row, and then the other side of that pub over there, there was on that side. We should count them. Yeah, so that's four in the space of 100 yards. Did you actually say that we can do on Right, so you know on the back, yeah. on the back there, yeah. they've got a load of sherbet in every colour you can even imagine. Really? I bet they're all different flavours. I bet. I bet nobody's got any teeth around here. <laughs> yeah. And I bet all the children are all crazy. They're running around. Yeah, all, all hyperactive on all those even. This is quite an old art here, isn't it? Like a bit retro-ish. Yeah. But like 80s. Little little steps for little toddlers yeah. so they can gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get them at it young. Yeah. We were just saying that... And, oh God, there's another one here. 
It is unreal. How many have you counted so I don't know. I've, I've lost count. We're going to count them on way back. We're going to count every one. And I think it's yeah. inevitable we're probably going to have to have fish and chips for tea. We are. We're going to have to do a fish and chip with you. <laughs> I'm going to have to do one with you. I weren't fancying them tonight either, but Were not you? today. We'll oh, see how I'm sorry, it's the law. I thought we could go for another curry or something. I think this could be the place with the most fish and chip shops. It's got to be. It's got area. to be. We need to look that up because that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it is. There's a pub at end here, I'll say we're going in. Oh, I think that's a good <laughs> idea. And as we say, but only for research purposes. Yeah, we just want to tell you what it's all about and what it's like. Bloody motorbikes, that's the downside of it here. It's all motorbikes. I don't like the look of this though, do you? I don't like the look of that. We're not feeling that place, are we? Well, there was nowhere to sit anyway. Yeah, it weren't like, it was like a traditional pub, but like a sanitised one. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was just like a bit too, all about the food. Well, it's a lovely place. It's a very bizarre place, isn't mm -hmm. it? But there's not much here, really. Unless you want to have fish and chips for lunch and then you want a donut for afters. Yeah. Or you want some fudge or ice cream. We'll go back to that pub further down, which might be all right. We're going to have a look in this one then. Yeah? Hey, Rose Cottage. Well. <laughs> Bless. Oh, hello. And smile. And look into my and eyes. And cheers. Look into the eyes, not around the eyes. Who used to say that? Oh, it was, that little, it was little Britain, wasn't it? It was that medium, wasn't it? I've committed the ultimate sin. Yeah. She's almost disowned me because I've got a pint of Guinness with a lime in it. I just fancied it. I do like it. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Can I try it, please? I just like it. It just adds a little bit. It's from when I was a student. Except I was never a student. No. <laughs> I've heard that Tia Maria is good in Guinness, but I've never tried it. Because my dad would turn in his grave if yeah. he knew I was drinking Guinness with lime in it. So, yeah, Mount Lock Bath. We're counting all fish and chip shops. And all the donut shops. And I think I've counted six up to now. I've counted six fish and chip shops up to now, oh. but there's quite a few down there. Yeah, isn't there? is there any donut shops down there? there? Probably will, but yeah. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Donut and sweet shops I mean, and it's, fish and chip shops. It's a lovely place. It is. I like it. The but people are friendly. There's not really anything to do, is there? Well, Apart from walk up and then walk back again. There's that and thermal bath. Yeah. And the, then there's a bit of an attraction thing, but where over the road there's the heights of Abraham. There's the heights of Abraham. We might look at that, but we're a bit we're a bit skint this weekend. <laughs> but if, there's a few arcades. We've had a little discussion in the pub, and the the executive producer has demanded that we go on a little walk, which <laughs> is not something I want to do right now. Another chip shop there. Because That's you're seven. feeling hungry, aren't you? You're well, hungry. the fact is I've just banged my head. So in banged oh, my head in pub. Okay? Because there was a, a low sort of roof well, and I just put my hat on and I walked straight into yeah, it get a rake crack. Discussion before you banged your head. No, yeah, what you said. I'm alright. I'm alright. I could use it as a cop out though. Couldn't you I? could. But well, I'm not going to do that. To... Where is it you want him to take me? Heights of Abraham. Oh, the word heights <laughs> means it's going to be uphill. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't it be the lows Look, of Abraham? You, Why couldn't you... it be the escalator? <laughs> what, the escalators <laughs> of Abraham? Yeah. Right, you were telling me that you need to do more physical activity. Yeah, so... but not today. I'm just helping you. Not today, is it? Saturdays is not a physical activity day, is it? It is. It's not. You know what I'm going to get you? What? Some donuts to tide you over. <laughs> Some donuts to tide Yeah, tidy. look, there's a shop there. Then. Helen, yeah. I don't want one. What? I don't need a donut. No. Honestly, love. I'm trying to be healthy, aren't I? 
You could have fooled me. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna <laughs> save myself until we have. Okay. I don't want one sweet talk. But thank you. It's very kind. They are just the perfect mouth-sized donuts. Do they taste they're like only the little? Bigger? They're only little, so they're like the healthy ones. <laughs> Go on then, I'll have one. Oh, you want one? It's a bit selfish, isn't it? I know, you have 11 and I'll have one. We're going up Abrams. Yeah. I know, you needed a lot of energy. I know. Come on then. Go on then, that's have one. You yeah. That is so selfish. Why? Why is it that selfish? Because I'm eating it. I thought that sharing was caring. Sharing's not caring. Look. You've done your good deed, you've fetched them. Right, okay and bought, then. You bought them I, and fetched them. Right, I don't want any. I'm going to eat them. I've yeah. even had exercise as well, which you haven't. Yeah, get in. Come on. Helen bought me those donuts in a way to sweeten me up because she wants to go on the uh, cable car, don't you, darling? Yeah. And I'll be I've honest. Never been. I'll be honest, I'm a bit scared. <laughs> I'm not walking. I'll risk my life in the uh, cable car. If I can see that sign correctly, that let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. It's not right, surely that. <laughs> the second make it. What? So you want to know why there's no queue? Right, I'll tell you what. I've changed my mind. Yeah, I've Honestly, changed my... it is a no from me. <laughs> now, we, we need to make a correction. Yeah, we do. We actually. need to make a correction because I thought £28.50 was just to go in the cable car, but it's actually like a theme parky type thing with lots well, of Well, it's not a theme park, it's. Well, it's like. It's an area, isn't it? It's, it's an area, there's caves and there's lots of interesting two stuff. There's cave tours, uh, there's restaurants, cafes, all that stuff. I'm still not going up. I'm not. Because it's still twenty-eight pound fifty, which is. we could uh, spend but it. But I could get discount, but okay. only me. Yeah. And it would be fifty-one with my discount. It'd it would have cost fifty-one, 51 quid. Oh, we just said we're trying to have a frugal day today, pound. aren't we? So I think we should just go and spend the equivalent of that on booze. <laughs> <laughs> booze for baby. <laughs> Helen's taking things very seriously. She's just gone in the pub to ask the people behind the bar which is the best fish and chip shop on here. You know, we're not messing about now. Oh, is there a verdict? Did you ask a local? Yeah. So let's give this a place to go. We're right next to Ben, that's nice. It's a good location. <laughs> Breathing fumes in. Are you, are you complaining? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, by the way, the fish and chips and the drink, and the, it only costs 14 quid, but they are small portions, apparently. We only need small. Yeah. yeah, we're not that hungry. And we'll probably go for another meal tonight, anyway. <laughs> it has arrived. So these, as I said, just two small portions, because, mm -hmm. and they are very small. But we're all right. That's They're enough nice. for me. That's enough, yeah. yeah. All this lot were 14 quid. Yeah, well, you not, get too, too stuffed when it's too big. Yeah. It's not too bad. You get proper knives and forks, that's good. Oh, that's good. And I like that they brought us our own... We've got our own condiments, we've got some yeah. napkins in there. So yeah, happy days, I'm going to tuck in. Remember, yeah. vinegar first. Yeah, I always do. Chips are nice, peas are all right, average. Just like hmm? Not a cod fan. Cod's okay, but it's not really got much taste, has it? As far as cod goes, it's all right, but like you said, it's not got the taste that I had a kiss. So yeah, they're all right. What's your curry sauce like? Mm. Have you tried it? Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's not too thick and it's not... Well, and maybe it's a bit runny. Mm. Right. The batter is crispy and it's not soggy. Yeah. The chips are nice. 
Basically, it's fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not the expert like me. I'm not. Have you finished? Yeah. Is that much you can do? Have eaten them all? Those, those three mini donuts have tipped me over the edge. As opposed to my nine mini donuts. Chips are alright. Yeah, I've got lots of vinegar on them. You do. I've you made them a bit soggy. You put so much vinegar on them. You always do that. What did you think of those fish and chips? They were, it were cod, cod's not, I just don't like it. Uh, they were non-discreet. They were non-discreet fish were just and bog chips. Standard they were bog standard. I don't know what sort of score I'd give them, it's a bit pointless scoring them. Would I have them again? No. So if I went here for fish and chips again, you'd try one at other places. Yeah. Right, let's do a review on Matlock and Matlock Bath. An honest review. It will be better in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's Helen's honest review. We were freezing this morning, but the sun's come out now and it's warmed up quite a bit, hasn't yeah. it? I think it, Matlock, it would be great in the summer. There's a lovely park, bandstand, place for kids to play yeah like a playground tennis courts nice gardens rowing boats lots of duck action loads of duck action you know it were a nice place yeah. Matlock. And it's, a, nice it's place, a shopping it was just a shopping and it it's was like busy. a shopping area it were a nice shopping you know and you've got everything you need because there were big stores and there were like supermarkets there were you've got your boys which is the priority <laughs> you've got boots, M and S. So if you lived around there, you've got everything you need in in town, haven't you? And then we will come to Matlock Bath, which is very quirky because it really is like a seaside town. It is. But I've had a look online. It's a hundred. Well, it's nearly a hundred miles from the sea. It's Just, very pretty. It's pretty. It's nice. <clears throat> Just how many fish and chip shops? How do you, how many? Did I you think count? there was nine. We counted. And it's yeah. only a right short stretch. There's there's like a, a couple of attractions. There's that what we were going to go on that Heights of Abraham, but we're not, I'm not paying really fifty quid just to to go up there. I'm sure it's probably lovely, but it's too not late today. in the day. Too late in the day, and I can't really. Too afford expensive. Afford to be spending English pounds. Fifty well, quid. <laughs> that fifty-one pound, and that was with me being reduced. There was another attraction, wasn't there? But it seemed a bit like. 1980s to me though. Oh, you mean that thermal like bath a, thing? Yeah, and it were an aquarium and a hall of mirrors, like front, you know, bendy mirrors. And some fish swimming about. And that were about six quid, I think, each. <coughs> yeah, we didn't go in there. So we didn't go in that. It's not a right good travel programme, this, is it? We, no. we go to places and don't do anything. All right then, everybody. We all love you all. Have a lovely... Uh, this might be up on Sunday, actually. So... Hope you've had a lovely Mother's Day and and thoughts for all the mothers that are not with us anymore. And uh, yeah, have a good weekend and everything. And we'll see you in the next one. I'll see you there. See you there.